again and again These girls might be tears, but I recommend Chasing the bag, keep what you had and always keep it wild and kid Welcome back to another episode, A7 No Social Club. Man, it's a, it's a new day for us, man. Everybody else, we around, you know what I'm saying? We had a good time last night. Mm -hmm. Eventful day yesterday. I ate good. We ate good, we turned up, you know what I'm saying? We went to Memphis. First two hours being there, I don't know how many people got shot and stabbed. <laughs> Couldn't tell you an exact number. Six you said uh, down the street, right? Down yep. the street yeah, one on one down the street. I don't know if that was a stabbing or a shooting. It was two, the, two, two people. Two uh, people got stabbed. Two people got stabbed in the street. Okay. And yeah, another shooting was... uh. The one I read said they got shot dead. So that's what I'm saying. I've seen so many know. different stuff. Everybody Why mixing it up. Was, I don't know. Shooting, stabbing. I don't know what happened, but I know uh, one of them was right down the street from us. Uh, it was right across from us when you walked up the door. It was YG's brother. He's the one that got shot killed. Yeah, uh, yeah, but yeah, we talking about the folks that, that was down the street. Yeah, we, had, we saw a dude walk by. The one, the dude that was laying on the ground dead. She saw him walk by us uh, when we went in the restaurant. Uh, that was the one right outside of where we was at. Uh, yeah, yo, got it, brother. Uh, There's been so many different things on that, shot. though. I heard so many stories with that, so it's like, ain't, yeah. nothing, ain't nothing big I can speak on it, because I don't know the exact details, because it was just so much shit I haven't read. But, uh, yeah, we were there almost the whole day yesterday, but the first two hours, shit went down. <laughs> hey, we had a good-ass time, though, caught that uh, Greeley game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They turned up up in there. Man. It did look like a good game. It, it was. was, it was. I kept seeing somebody he knew and he's trying to tell me. Yeah, man, what are you talking about? I bought Big Mike doing the national anthem. They was like, Nobody knew what he was. I'm like, hey, this is Big Mike. Because he watched too much TikTok. That's right. Big Mike, man. Give me some. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Man. But yeah. Definitely a good time. That was my first game. That was my first game. Yeah. That was my first really game. Man. Yeah, we turned up the whole day today. Seemed like. I ain't quit till about 2 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Them three shots back to back kind of kind of fucked me up a hey, little bit. Shit. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are we gonna hit on today, fellas? What are we gonna hit on? Y'all got something for? What you wanna start with? I don't care what we start with. What, what's up? Child support, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Mm. As you being the only person in here on child support, what's your thoughts on it? They gonna call me out like that. <laughs> hey, call me hey. out. Call me out. I only got two years left, baby. I don't mean to be saying like that. Better struggle. Better struggle. Oh, I do. The bitch greedy. I put myself on child support, so it's my fault. But uh, I'm just trying to do what's best for my kid and for me at the time. Because I've seen it go back and forth where people don't put themselves on child support, and somebody else put them on child support, and then you get the back pay. Yeah. That shit crazy. Uh, but it's it's a lot to be said about it. And one of the things, the main thing to me is the the price you pay don't add up to what it takes for a kid to, to live survive. a good life. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Not only to survive, but to live a, a decent life. You know, it's for the kids. Mm -hmm. Or either you get way too much. Yeah, I understand. And it don't go to the right thing. You know what I'm saying? I understand when it go towards rent, you know what I'm saying, food, you know what I'm saying, gas in your car, because that's still all falls in place for your kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got to take them to You got to get kids to school, doctor's, doctor's appointments, all that, this and that. You know what I'm saying? So I, I understand think, all that. I think that's changed child support to baby mama support. That's really what it became to. I mean. To, to, to sustain the lifestyle. Yeah. To a lot of yeah. people, yeah. With them because I feel like there should also be a cap put on it, on the, on the price. And what you should pay? I, I shouldn't be paying fifteen hundred dollars a month for two kids. I don't even think that it should be the cap. I think that it should be like you see people got the child support cards now, but it needs to, you can't go to the ATM with that card. I don't think you should be able yeah. I don't think you should be able to like just go to the liquor store with that card. There should be things you the should not be allowed to do. I mean, There's pretty, card, yeah, you yeah. get paid on a little card now, yeah. but it's just like a debit card. You can go to the ATM, pull cash off all that. I don't think you should be able to do all that. No. There definitely should be a cap put on it because you can't say that because this man make this much money, I want this much from you. It shouldn't be like that, period. And especially if that man's already taking care of his child half the time. So, 
Now, if he ain't present and not doing nothing at all, then that's a different story. I mean, that's a different story, too, but it still shouldn't make the price go up. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It still shouldn't make the amount go up. That's just the most ridiculous part of it. Mm -hmm. What's price. also ridiculous is the fact that um, a man trying to run from child support so won't keep a job, so therefore he knows you're not getting paid. If he's not working, you're not getting paid. Yeah. So, And then continuing to run state from state to keep but away from that, child that, support. That falls with the, uh, some of that, some of it falls with the, the amount too. Because you... You put too much on a dude where he's like, damn, I got kids over here too. Yeah, I can't mm -hmm. feed them because I got to give it all to her. Mm -hmm. you going to make a, somebody change their ways. Why why work here at this job when I'm going to work on the street and I have a tax? You know what I'm saying? Make my money there. You don't know what I'm making and you ain't getting nothing because you can't find them. Yeah, Certain stuff also, will make you change how you do stuff. Yeah, but that also looks bad on you. If you yeah, it does. It does. It's all about communication. I get there's some females you can't communicate with, but you can go, you can get a lawyer and you should be able do to something about it. Come up on an agreement on a price between two people and sign off on it. Yeah. Not let, a judge, not let a judge do it. Because yeah, the law yeah, works on you when you get the yeah, law involved. It's all based on getting notarized and stuff. But mm -hmm. still, let's handle this outside okay, of the if judge. You, if you got a cordial baby mama, just just work with her. It's yeah, not that hard. Yeah. So, it's just simple. It, it doesn't... It, should have been taken this far. Yeah. <laughs> when they say nowhere in the Bible, they say Adam went down to child put off. He <laughs> 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 went down to child put off. Put Adam on child put off. So, it's crazy. So what do you think the cap should be? I don't know because you know there is. I mean, everybody do live Some a different lifestyle and, and, and live in this. different places. It depends like on that. your rent. Uh, with, with, with they should take all of that. They should take all of that into consideration. Exactly. Yeah. They shouldn't just base it off of, well, the woman has one of your child, this is what she needs. You also should base it off of, damn, you got to work too, you got to support your family, you got bills too. It shouldn't just be off. But see, Arkansas is kind of doing that now, though. Like, now when you go to court, it's ba it's based off both your incomes. Like, if you, the woman makes more than the male and y'all got 50-50, she's going to make yeah, the judge. That's not, that's not every case either, though. Oh, that's true, too. I know a with 10 kids, he worked just for child support to take his whole damn check. Yeah, yeah. And then, he not even on child support for all 10 of them kids. He only on child support for like three of them kids. And, they take a and he, he got a good ass job and take that whole ass check. So he was so like. You, you feel like you busting your ass just for them. You're yeah. not busting your ass to live. And now you have a life. I was about to say, now you, you got to live with other other folks because you can't even pay no bills nowhere. Yeah. They, I mean, that and baby. then on top of that, if he a good ass daddy but just got bitter ass baby mamas, you know. It'll make you change your way of thinking about everything. Jobs, everything. Because mm -hmm. you want Make a better you life, your too. Whole life away. Yeah, you want a better life too. You provide for these. You still got some over there. You still got yourself. You still got to take care of everything. Because turn it around. Not to be disrespectful. But ask a woman that's on child support and getting good money, where would you be without that money? <laughs> would you be holding this house hold down the same way you're doing with my money as you would be without my money? Even with me coming around, getting my kids, doing everything, getting them like I'm supposed to, take their child support away because I'm doing everything. You still gonna be able to hold it down? Some females, yes, but a lot still of them, the majority of them, like no. If a man is doing everything, he shouldn't be on it. He shouldn't be on it, exactly. Yeah. I think child support is for absent fathers or deadbeat fathers. Mm -hmm. Should be, but nowadays child support comes after the ones that are already doing too much as it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's the way the system was built. A woman can run and cry wolf. And, and what don't make sense to me them. is. is It'd be the good ass daddies that child support automatically Wait. catch. Yeah, but you yeah. can't catch this deadbeat motherfucker that y'all yeah. been trying to catch for how long? Well, you know and I get you the address. Okay. You know where he at. You know where he at. Come they on, it ain't that hard. Yeah, it's crazy. They want to go after the people that's going to put money in their pockets as well. Because you know when is. you pay child support, they get their little that's what so it many is. percent. So yeah. I think they, 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 love, it they, they <laughs> love it when somebody going, hey, I want to put somebody on child support. Yeah, that's money for me too. Mm -hmm. So they're going to do it. They're going to do it. It ain't right, man. It ain't right. I don't got no kids, but I'll take the message. Watch who you nutty in. Oh, God. That's a big one. That's a big one. You definitely got to watch that. Not, what, what about that? So, whoa, whoa, watch who you let nut in you, shit. That too. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> because, okay, if you do that and you do that, you got to be prepared. But then again, also, you can't blame yourself either because people's true colors come out when you have a kid. Yep. Mm hmm but also, at the same time, I'm going to go into it as in, okay, we had the baby together, we split up. You can't take care of the baby, give it to me. 
Give it to me. But what female you know gonna do that? No. Give it to me. Because guess what? I can do all this without child support from you. Mm hmm You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, it's a lot of people that way, but honestly. I got a baby mama that I was paying child support on, and my kid wasn't even living with her for I don't know how many years. She was living with her grandma. Yeah. But, but then the grandma needs to get the child support. But you're taking my child support. Because she the one taking care of the kids. You take my child. I asked for my kid. Come on, what's up? But I see, keep paying it and take care of my kid. But that goes back to bitter females. You know she probably yeah. would have gave me that kid if it wasn't for me. It's crazy. It's so wild. it goes a lot of different ways. You she know. didn't want you to have nothing to do with that kid when I came back in the picture. So having to take her to court still didn't help because then they ran, they put all them thoughts in baby girl's head. Now she don't really want to be nowhere around because they've done, that's her best friend. She don't got to, there's no consequences. There's nothing going on. So, I mean, shit, you're damned if you do, damned if you don't in this world. You can support your child the whole time, do whatever you got to do, but you got a bitter baby mama or... It's all about that communication. And then especially they use your kid against you. Yep. Like not in your case. I mean, we had baby girl for the longest. It's just once a kid hits a certain age and she sees this side, she sees this side, but she also has her best friend right there trying to whoop the whoop. It's My crazy. baby daddy don't even know how to damn make a bottle. So ain't no way. Yeah, that's why I don't fault my kid for nothing, for nothing either. Mm -mm. I ain't seen a year, but I don't fault her for it because I know she hit, she hit a certain age and she want to come. She, I'm going to be there over arms. You know what I'm saying? Be her over arms because I still got you for the rest of your life. Mm hmm. It's beyond 18. But that's what kills me though. Because yeah, I'm happy because I only got two years left for child support. <laughs> but like I said, when you ain't there, come holler. I got whatever you need. I got whatever you need because I know it's going to you then for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's, it, just be, it just be cool to be out the books. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> be cool to be out the books. Yeah, I put myself on it, but at the same time, it saved me too. It did save me because if I didn't put myself on it, a couple years later, she would have went on here and done it. Or you're going to have to constantly watch over your shoulder about her threatening you with lawyers yeah. and... I don't really court. think she would have been that type of person, though, because just because you're black. Her family didn't want you to know we're involved. Yeah. They didn't want you to... Ha they didn't want her to have your last name. They didn't want to deal with none of that. They wanted you, They wanted her and they wanted you out of the picture. Yeah. You fought for it and that just pissed off the whole damn family. It's, it's they probably didn't expect him to go so hard. No, they didn't. Know. Nobody does. Nobody does, man. One thing no, I'm doing my when, business. when she realized we had a court case, that's when she tried to come hard. Oh, well, I don't want him around her. I don't want her, him around me. Let's uh, throw, what she do? Let me get a restraining order right quick. And really, she tried to throw all that on us. She should have got the restraining order against me. I was the one running the fucking house. But she I, wouldn't have to owe. You know what I'm saying? I was the calm one in the situation because I was hurt, you know? Like seeing that man cry because he can't see his first kid. What would you think I wasn't going to boss yeah. up and make sure he was able to see his kid? No. So she put a uh, restraining order on me. It didn't go through. It didn't go through. My lawyer flipped the script real quick. You know, I ain't even had to talk to the judge. I'm in the courtroom listening to everybody talk, 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 back and forth, back and forth. When they called my name, my lawyer talked to the judge, turned around. You good to go. We good. It's done. Damn. He was like, you ready for the next step? Yeah, yeah, let's go. He turned around. He said, "We turn into a child support case. Set the date for later. Yeah. On the way to the elevator. Hey, you throw that bread at your lawyer. You gonna you gonna make some shit happen. So, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna I'm gonna do whatever my key is. So, a lot of people don't do it, but it is what it is. And I think just the judge seeing how hard you were going also was a big part in doing that. Well, the big thing was. At the time, like they tried to say, oh, well, he ain't been around enough kids. He shouldn't get her over weekends or nothing because he ain't going to know what to do. Bitch, we had two kids at the time. Well, we had two where I was pregnant with Jazz. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I was yeah, pregnant yeah. with Jazz, but we already had sent. Yeah. Which, he's been around since, since day one. What you mean he don't know how to change a diaper? He don't know how to feed it. He don't know how to. Always, and then I'm talking about even if that kids. was the case, how is he going to learn exactly. if you're not going to let me see my child? Exactly. That's like these people getting jobs 18 straight out of school. Uh, we you know, gotta get him a no, chance. You got yeah. no experience. How they gonna get experience? Exactly. exactly. They try so hard to get it to where it was supervised or this or that. No. And really, we should have fought harder. We after that after about year two, we could have fought harder and we could have won her. We could have won full was, custody. But I was at the point where I know you did this to me, but I want to take a kid from her mother. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And Especially really, at the time, her mama wasn't on the drugs and stuff she was on, so I was like, I'm not gonna do it. So. There yeah. were so many chances. I'm not going to do the same thing. I'm not going to do the same thing you're trying to do to me. But then if it's not what she wanted, then... That's no. why we didn't do it. Like because we right put what, no. uh, what baby girl wanted before anything else we had. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, but there was years where we could have just 
it would have took nothing but a couple thousand to get the, everything we needed and we could have hit it, but it wasn't in the best interest of what baby girl wanted. So, I mean, it all breaks down to what the child it? wants, yeah. Yeah, that's what the system just crazy when it comes to the, the price you pay and all that. It, it just ain't right. It ain't right. The whole thing ain't. Mm -mm. The whole thing that ain't. You can go back and forth. The judge, went there, the judge went there when y'all was having sex. The judge went there when y'all was making a kid. The judge went to the hospital. Mm -hmm. now, so now he won't they say just, They won't just made something. me think have y'all seen the new child support papers lately? They literally asked where y'all was at when you had sex. How you had sex? Boy. How long did you know the person before you had sex? Yeah, that's a good one. That, that, that ain't gonna lie. That one is a good one after the whole situation. How long did you know this person? Wait, they made my sister fill the papers out. She said, I ain't doing this shit. Yeah, <laughs> she said, yeah, yeah. Well, why y'all need to know that I was on top right? <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Right. I mean, me and my baby mom, we, we went just on fucked up terms, you know. It came to a point where I was in a hard spot. I got down and she wanted to take me off child support. Cause they kept trying to send me to court. Mm -hmm. She wanted to take me out of child support. And the woman talked so bad to her to where she got scared. Like she, she's easily scared over stuff like that. But she was like, you know what, never mind, let me leave. Y'all are talking bad to me and I'm not about to do it, I'm about to leave. Mm -hmm. She tried to take me out of child support, they were not little. They were That's not little. Funny. I got caught up and I was like $6,000 behind, got caught up. And she wanted to take me up afterwards. I will also say, see, when uh, also on the papers, uh, it asks you, uh, is your life at stake if you go after child support like for the dad? Because some yeah. some of them will threaten you. Oh like, yeah. Yeah. That that was my case at first, and that's why I I wouldn't uh, put him on child support. And then finally, after I got the restraining order and shit, I'm like, here's his address. Go get him. At yeah. this point. Yeah. I'm saying it's a lot that comes with child support, man. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Man, but like you said, you gotta watch who you laying down with. For real. That's why I said I don't know if I want no more kids because you'll never know until it's like a motherfucker act one way, then you get pregnant and boom, they bounce. Yeah. I refuse to be a single mother again. Just because motherfucker dropping it off on you that good, man. <laughs> don't don't, don't yeah. do it. It ain't worth it. Do it. Years yeah, so no. Take care of a kid by yourself. Tell me. It's already hard out here on your own. You know what I'm saying? Now you got a kid with it. Man. You got that, and then you got some people just having babies for the child support and the taxes. Assistance. You know what I'm saying? It's all about money. Shit, it's but then you got you to gotta wait till that time of year. It, 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 don't, add, do it. it don't add a up. A lot of them will do it, but no, it do not add up. Get your ass out there, you know what I'm saying? It don't add <laughs> up. Really, really winning right now. Right. Really, really? Yeah. 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 Running that bag up. And she <laughs> let y'all know, know a game on top of it. <laughs> yeah. And I'm surprised the child support office don't do shit about that. There's people still going at it because she bad. That's the problem too. You know what I'm saying? Y'all getting with these females off these looks and this and that. No, nah, man. You need to know somebody. And, and she putting all her stuff out there in the beginning. Mm -hmm. She's scouting them in high school, college. A predator. Yeah. She letting you know she high that school. bad bitch. She letting you know she that hoe, but guess what? I'm going to still go. You know, I'm still go. Are you pregnant? Okay, cool. I got a little bad bitch pregnant. No, nah, to that child's Run her pocket, run her pocket. Yeah. That's all she doing. Run me my money. That's all she doing, man. You got to pay attention. You got to be careful out here. Be smart. Your money done turned to the owl money. Exactly. Oh, my God. <laughs> exactly. But did y'all see the... We'll, we'll end it after this, but did y'all see the head coach of the... I don't forget the basketball team, but he waited till to finalize his newest contract after his divorce. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They were smart. <laughs> they were smart. I ain't, ain't going to cap on them. 120 million and he waited to finalize the contract till he was done. She don't get a cent of that. Hey, I mean, I'm fucked with that. That's smart. That's smart. That's, that's, smart. that's, that's smart a real decision. smart move, man. You let the team know, hey, man, hold off on this a little bit. We're going to get there. I'm coming. I got you. Just give me a little time. going to finish this off. You, you get where I'm coming from. Hey, Miami Heat always been a real organization. They ain't going to lie to you. <laughs> man, <laughs> you that's, that's real right there. Uh, I'm putting all this work in. You better snatch out with my stuff. No, nah, it ain't gonna go down like that. If you smart, you know how to do it. You play it right. Like the one, there was one soccer player, and him and his wife got divorced. And I think he, he had everything in his, his mama's, mama's name. name. Yeah, mm -hmm. the wife didn't know everything. House, cars, bank accounts, everything was in his mama's name. She got the divorce papers to get half. You get half from my mama. <laughs> Yeah, she divorced him. She told him she was only in it for the money. Then when the oh, divorce yeah. proceedings went down, yeah, jokes on you, when bitch. the divorce proceedings went down, and he was, was that the judge asked what I was in, you know, what what's your money like all this? 
it's all my mama name. My contract is signed over to my mama. Everything from everything he does is goes to his mama. Smart mom. man, that's smart. Because one person, well, nine times out of ten, one person that I ain't gonna do you wrong is your mama. On God. Yeah, feel. So wait, well, you supposed to draw that up like before, like if you like from beforehand from the jump. He was he was already doing this from jump before he even and got she with his wife. Know it. She didn't know. Oh, okay. Because he still had money, like the, I mean, the of course, when you get with a man, yeah. you get with a man, and he got that bread, spent like millions and stuff. You gonna be like, oh, my baby got this, my baby got this. So I know when I dip, yeah. I'm getting this because I didn't sign no prenup. Yeah. So that's all that's on your mind is that prenup. He made me sign no prenup. Oh shit, I'm straight. Yeah. No, yeah. you just didn't know you before didn't before know. we even you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, they going to my mama. He did like a whole interview, so, and he was like, that's "This is from day one. Everything's been in his mama name because his that's mama's smart. always his mama always told him." Be careful who you lay down with, and they're all, they're gonna come after you for this and that. Houses, car, everything. That man had nothing in his name. That's so, so what right happens? There, what happens if like he he divorced? You know the woman. He signed everything over to his mama, but like. So do he still get to stay in his house and keep his cars and all that? Yeah, his mama owns it. Everything. She didn't get nothing because nothing was in his. Nothing was in his name. It all belongs to his mom. So, so therefore, if he passed away unexpectedly, his mom would get it. Yeah. Like, like his whole soccer contract is technically his mom's. Yeah. His mom's technically under contract with the soccer team. Yeah, like everything. It ain't no disrespect. Ain't no disrespect. You know what I'm saying? That's how I wanted to. That's how I wanted to real talk to because you know, mom brought me in this world. Mom brought me in the world. She held me down till I was grown. Still got my back while I'm grown. So if something happened to me, I need to come to you first. I need to come to you first. And then you be like, oh, y'all been married 20 years. You good. I got you, baby. That's her daughter. She gonna make sure she good now. Mm -hmm. Whether she give all of it, or she give a half of it, or whether she just make sure she maintaining and still got some bread in her pocket. But pockets. they're also still cool. No, you got them, some mamas. You got, but you already know that relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gonna understand? That's that, that plays a role too. Their relationship too. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, do I know my mama gonna hold my wife and the kids? I know she's yeah. gonna kid down, but she gonna because hold my wife down too. Many, while I go, there's been how many so stories? You of gotta know how to play it. You gotta know how to play it. How many stories of? Football players, baseball players, you know, having that same stereo. Mama, mama took off with all that shit. Like, it's been like, they're Let so... Let the kids without and everything. But those mamas don't normally show any type of compassion until they see their kids yeah. starting to have that success. Yeah. It's crazy. And like, typically, you'll be able to scout that out. And yeah, then the yeah. kids are like, oh, well, mom's not showing me love all of a sudden, yeah, so I they mean, get excited, it's so crazy. they don't want to see it. It's crazy the things you have to think about before, like... Going into a marriage, dating a woman, sleeping with them, all this shit you should think about. Not nine, nine times out of ten. I can't even talk straight this morning. Mm -hmm. Cold. Nine, nine times, times out of ten, ten, all you worried about is getting some pussy right quick. Yep. You ain't worried about, damn, what's this bitch going to do if she pregnant? Damn, this that's bitch what, good with money. That's why, why you out here fucking three, four, yeah. five different yeah. bitches. You better think of what, what happens in this. Is this somebody that I see yeah. a future with if it happens? Uh, yeah. Would this be a good uh, decision for a mother of my child? <laughs> like, and shit, half the time you in the club, you ain't the, shit. Maybe me want to be celibate. Yeah, <laughs> I swear to God. I'm sorry, but also people who claim that they can find their Romeo and Juliet moment at the strip club. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. What? They love it first sight. Like, bitch, I, I knew you was mine when you were shaking dying. your ass at me. <laughs> exactly, exactly. It's two things right there. It's That's two things. That woman going to be like, Brid, okay. Romeo. And he going to be like, shit, bitch, man, I got a good-ass coochie. Shit, Juliet, let's do this. No. Nah, Y'all head fucked up. Five months down the road, she pregnant and got all your bags. I don't see shit, but I'm only fans out. That's his situation. Right. I don't get it. But a lot of people, a lot, he right, though. A lot of people do shit like that. I'm like, nah. That ass ain't going to be sitting up for forever. The club <laughs> shit, and then the shit where if I stole you from him, mm -hmm. you, think, you, think gonna, you think it ain't going to happen to you? happen the same you exact way. You? Just like that? The same so, way you got them is the same way you're going to lose them. Yep. Yeah, so. That's that. People don't think, man. <laughs> people don't think <laughs> no, yeah, smaller take around here. another man out of another woman's arms because that man is gonna come back and bite but you. See, that's what, uh, 2023, 2024 half the bitch that's is always bringing. I thought your man, I your man, and bitch the same way you got him, the same way you gonna lose. What you steal? Like if you was able to steal that man that easily, do you really think he's worth it? And was he hers to begin with? Exactly. I go. mean, oh we. That can go on and on. <laughs> I got. I can talk about that. It's crazy out here, for real, for real. But that's the problem. Nobody think. Nobody think that far out. Mm -hmm. They don't think that far out. 
I want to ask, so what y'all think about privacy and, and relationships? Privacy, privacy relationships. to what extent? Because you you got to have trust to have a, like some some type of privacy. What kind of privacy like, you want? Certain kind of privacy. I mean, you still got to have your own identity in a way, too. So. Yeah, you yeah do. that, but. You do, but certain things you want to be private, Aren't it'd be, be like it's something behind it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that can go a lot of different ways. As a person comes in, it's going to be like, all right, I respect, I respect what you're saying, and I respect what you want. You know what I'm saying? I get you. Sometimes they go perfectly, and other time they ring that bell in that person's head. Bet, I'm about to be able to do whatever I want to yeah. do, still have a good ass relationship, and never get caught. Our whole relationship can be private, but everybody knows about me. Like, yeah. there's difference. There's differences between privacy. Like, you ain't about to hide me, baby. Yeah. You want this whole thing to be private, you don't want people to nah, know about me now. It's not more so hiding a person. It just may just be like... What you got going yourself or whatnot. I mean, I get there being privacy. I get that. Because, I mean, there shit being out on top like that. But. I want to ask y'all since y'all are like together, y'all like just randomly grab each other's phone and just. I can pick oh, yeah, his phone up right up now. Whatever like, you want to. I can go through. I, like, I got his laptop. He got mine. Because why not? I don't even have a charger on my side of the bed. Baby, put this on charger for me. If it go off or whatever, whatever. Check you it. can handle it. Because I can be knocked the fuck out if somebody yes, wants something yeah. important. I ain't gonna hear the alarm like or whatever. Night. Shit, last you catch night. You me? Last let, night, let me I was know. texting Gwen off oh, his no, number. She yeah. texted, I was talking about something. I can't, my phone, my message ain't sending to Gwen. Bitch, I'm the one that picked his phone up and checked it. I can pick up his phone at any time, type in the code. I know it. Yeah. He can pick up mine. There's, there, but we've been together 20 fucking years. So there's difference. But, but met to this. me, if I can't, like, Logan got his new girl now. They chilling, doing whatever. Right now may not be the time for them to do that. Yeah. I mean, but like, I see like a year down the line, six months down the line, if you still, if we had the same take when you're doing this, or your, or your, your brightness is all, all the way down, down, or you on do not disturb all the time, I'm yeah, ask you why, because I don't, I don't, I'll tell you, oh, when me and O was first getting back out to work, that, put your, put your sounds on, like, that's something that triggers me, because like, of the issues me and him have, up. bitch, put your phone up, I don't like that, it, 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 yeah. I speak on what I don't like, I'm real, like, like, shit on, triggers on, me. On a clean slate, though. Like she could be doing. Yeah, stuff I know like, me personally. I don't really like nobody going through my phone just because that's fine. She could be doing stuff around the house. Hour here, hour there. And if her phone went out ten times, it could be so important. Yeah. So I'm be like, oh shit, baby, we gotta go. Yeah. Go to the hospital, wherever. Something going on. But you know what I'm saying? You been hearing your phone while, but you ain't too much worried about it because you're trying to get the house clean and stuff. Yeah. I got you. And that's that's if another. If it's all for you, ain't here. That's another thing. It don't have to be a constant. Like now, if it's a constantly, she constantly going through your phone all the mm -hmm. time, then that's something within herself. Yeah. But if just occasionally here and there, she just pick it up, or you know, your phone going out back to back to back, and she like, why ain't you checking this? Why you ain't checking it? And she look at it. Then I mean, but I feel like that's like, like, like I said, clean slate. There's nothing. Yeah, it can be a clean slate, but still, I mean, even, it's just, I, I mean, even, I even see no pick up my phone. It's not like it's a worry thing. It's just a, damn, your phone's going off. Yeah, it, it may it's not be a one thing to pick up a phone, but it's one thing to go through and look for shit. Okay, My yes. thing is, okay, I like, I got, I got, we I just get it. together. We just got together. It's been four months. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm here on the phone taking pictures. You know what I'm saying? I had to hatch, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> and you get to scrolling. Okay, if you see something that's been, you got a, a female from seven months ago on your phone in your pictures. That's. I can't really say nothing about it. I mean, it's, it's gonna be, it's gonna current. be a question. It's gonna be the question. Why you still got this? Okay, it might be the question, but at the same time, I can't say nothing about it. that's seven months back. We only been in this four months. Now, if you we say been in this four two months. weeks I ago, feelings. I can't get my feelings about nothing. That's been that past that four months. The time we've been together. Yeah, but that. then again, I think there's also kind of not necessarily a time limit on it, but I don't see, okay. I just I like can't say me and Oaks, we've been together so long, but me and you together, Zach, I can't see me picking up your phone after we've been together a week and just going no. through it because that means there's no, no trust from the bullshit. jump. Yeah. But there's got to be some type of trust there or something that's Or if something has happened before. Or a motherfucker don't want to just go all the way through it. Yeah. But then again, there's just some people that have been through so much in their life. That brings them peace of mind to know, damn, I'm good. It may only take that one time of needing to do that and be like, I ain't got to worry no more because I, it is what it is. But it's just. I was going to say, me personally, I give a clean slate. But if you have given me a reason. Then it's always that. Then it's going to always yeah. be in my mind. But what, what are that, you doing? That also goes to it. Like me, you know, I have certain triggers. Like after everything we went through, certain things bother me. And I speak on it. I can't. I'm not going to deal with that. This is what I need for us it all depends on the people in that relationship. Then, like, another sense of privacy, like, when you tell 
the next person, everything that you conversated about went through your day or whatnot. Because mm -hmm. like, you know, some some of your business may like the homeboy take to the grave, but you ain't really supposed to share that with nobody. So it's like, to what sense of privacy do you think to it? Y'all can share information. See, though, that's hard for me to speak on because. Yeah, me, me and Oakley talk about everything there is. Like, if there's stuff that y'all talk about, he probably don't hit on all the big talks with me. But if I say, damn, what, what you and Zach got going on, or something like that, he will tell me the basis of the, you know, he ain't going to tell me, damn, Zach, which, you know, yeah, I, I get that type of privacy. To, but need to know basis. Yeah, he'll, like, because but there's some things that just won't go like, what you do, what you do today, nothing. Knowing this motherfucker done did this, this, and this. <laughs> so you, it depends on if y'all have that communication. Because some people just, ain't this shit, I think. Bitch, I just saw you at stove five holes. What the fuck <laughs> mean you ain't this shit, bitch? I peeped where the fuck you was at. It just, to me, it, communication is the key to all that. Because like, you can with, be private with one part, part, but no thing, enough thing, to where it's... Another thing with me is, like, something going on with me and Gwen. And I come to talk to you. Because yeah. I feel a certain type of way. I shouldn't be doing that. Unless it's something else that I could, it's something I could be talking to Gwen about too. Yeah. Because don't speak to speak about me or to me to somebody else yeah. that you can't say my face because it's all so like, if I sooner had that or later. It's if I had that conversation with you that I should that I should have went, I should have had it one or two. Yeah. But if it's something that I should have, uh, that I felt like I didn't want to talk to her about, but came to you, I should have did. Or maybe that you wouldn't care to talk to her about, but you just coming to me to. See how you want to present it to her so she take it over with. I'm saying yeah. that, that that works too. You know what I'm saying? It really There's does. There's so many different levels of privacy. Be like, cause a lot of times we fly off at the mouth, and we could come the wrong way. Yeah. We come the wrong way, so you, know, you might want to run it by somebody else. Hey man, you know what I'm saying? Me and Zach, this and that, this and that. Mm -hmm. Well, how should I go about bringing it up to him? Yeah. So I don't step wrong, and he automatically think. I'm coming in a fucked up way. Or or asking somebody for advice, like, am I in a wrong for feeling this way? Yeah, yeah. That's you can you can do that stuff. Yeah. You can do that stuff. Just don't don't speak on me or about me to somebody else that you can't say to my face. Because when it comes to light, then that's where the problems start. Yeah. Because anything I'm gonna say to you, to you, to you, bitch, the best I believe, I'll say that shit to your face, whether I called you what I called you, I said what I said, but I'm gonna say it to your face. Yeah. Cause nine times out of ten, it's not beef, it's not talking shit. You know what I'm saying? You really trying to correct a person, you know what I'm saying? Or try to put them in the right way, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. So, things get misunderstood Easy. off of tone and stuff like that and all the time. Oh, yeah. All so the time. You hit on that, like, going out somewhere and having your phone down. Like, what, what's that? I want to know, like, what's the dating edit? I'm going to put it like this. I'm going to put it like this. There ain't nothing wrong with this right here. Yeah. Face down. I'm just talking about in general. I, 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 I know what I'm saying. That's, that's a big thing I've seen. Online and everything. Yeah. There ain't nothing wrong with a face down phone. That could mean ten different things. That, mm -hmm. But everybody first is, first thing is, are you trying to hide something? But that could be your purpose and your that can be your do not disturb in your head. Okay, having I do that, if so it's I down, if it's down, we at a restaurant. I don't want to look at that because it's down. Hey, if it go off, and I see that name on screen, oh Zach hit me. I got to hit my boy back. You know what I'm saying? But I'm having a nice ass dinner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm put the face down or in my pocket. Yeah. Don't mean I'm doing shit. You know what I'm saying? I always put my phone face down at a restaurant. So there, there's nothing wrong with that, but people people see that right there, be like red flag. Ain't no fucking red flag. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's, that's been one of the biggest things. But did you see that video where dude was sitting right, dude was sitting right there, his girl sitting right there, the phone was right there, and her cup was right there. She reached for her cup to get something to drink. She heard him got the phone. Yeah, no. I looked at him, he grabbed a drink and was like, you hiding something? Yeah, I'm out this motherfucker. Yeah. I'm out this bit. And look what you just did when I was going for a drink. Mm -hmm. You grabbed the phone like, no. you hiding something. You, you hiding something. That's like a red flag. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You hiding something. And they automatically be like, why are you getting up and leaving? Look what the fuck you just did. Yeah, no. Nah, Bitch, show look me what, what you, you just did. Trying to hide show me right what you hiding, man. Or, or if you constantly sleeping with your phone like under the pillow or some shit like that, like you got something to hide. Like, that, that's 50 52. No, yes and no. That shit used to bother the fuck out of me when uh, we yeah. went through what we went through, but now, like, how our bed's set up now, if he don't need his shit charges either right here or right there behind his pillow. Because I'm not, when I'm at work, bitch, and if you don't answer my motherfucking phone call because I'm bored, I know you ain't asleep, but you're doing something, <laughs> bitch, you better have your phone. Like the other morning, his ass, he slept through his fucking alarm. I'm sitting here calling, bitch. I knew I should have drove fucking the car to work because where the fuck is you at? I feel like it's the reason why I sleep with my pillow needs to phone. You know, when my alarm go off, I ain't no missing it. I don't got no nightstand. Let me hit on that story. Let me hit on that story, man. So, I've been busting my ass tired as hell. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm,
They're buzzing my ass, you know what I'm saying? So, my alarm go off. I said for 5.40, so I had 20 minutes to get dressed, warm car, and get that pick up. Alarm go off. I'm tired of hell of the alarm like shit. I ain't got to work today. Fuck this Back to sleep. Phone's already. I'm like, oh, shit. Hey, baby. What happened? I'm like, yeah, but crazy. Oh, shit. Hey, I'll be here in about 10 minutes. I'll be in about 10 minutes. You know what I'm saying? So I got to keep it close sometimes. It was 6 o'clock. I said, I know this motherfucker didn't go back to sleep. I got to keep it close sometimes. I'm like, once again, at night, you wake up, eyes strolling, shit, you can. That's hard to reach. That's another reason. phone around and meets a pillow. That's another reason why I keep my phone on her side of the bed. She going to hear the alarm. She know what the alarm for. Baby, get up. All right. Because it doesn't matter how tired I am. That long while, click. I ain't even gonna remember why I ain't had it on. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? It's over there with her. You know what I'm saying? She helping me. My phone been over there, helps me. So, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got shit to hide. You can look to them motherfuckers. You know what I'm You can look all the way back to the first picture. Like, it's whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna be a lot of things. But as far as like a dating etiquette, yeah. like, what's something that y'all like, think is required? Is required? I'm gonna definitely say eye contact. Eye contact, and I'm gonna say I'm gonna, I'm gonna go like this: Don't go in dating somebody and automatically write them off as you can't trust them. Yeah. What yeah, the fuck you, is we you doing? Set yourself up for failure. What right? the fuck are we doing? Everybody start you know with late. Three months later, down the fuck down the line, I get off the phone with you. You call me twenty minutes later, but I'm doing something like I just discussed with you on the phone, and I don't answer. I have fun with that bitch. What you mean? <laughs> what fuck you mean? Cause I answer the phone. <laughs> I'm like, you should be able to trust me. You know what I'm saying? I don't trust nobody. What? You supposed to be able to trust me. You know what I'm saying? We doing this. You supposed to be able to trust me until I give you a reason not, not to. to. Not yeah. go in and be like, oh, I'm build. I'm letting build this shit up so I can't trust. No. If we get together, I trust you until you tell me. Until you show me not to. Yeah, man, ain't none of your uh, exes trusting you. We ain't gonna speak on them. We ain't gonna speak on them. But that, but that's what I'm saying though. Go in with the trust until you get shown not, you know what I'm saying, Otherwise. not to trust that person. Mm -hmm. But don't all, don't base your whole life on, I don't trust nobody, I don't trust nobody, I don't trust nobody. I get where you're coming when you say you don't trust nobody altogether on stuff like that. But when you in this relationship, you better trust me until I show you not to. So, don't even go in a relationship. Because you're going you go go to fail. We're going to fail right off the back. We're going to fail right off the back if you don't trust me. So that, eye contact, eye contact, you know. So yeah, you got to be honest with people because... The best time to be honest with you. You're supposed to be honest with them all the way through, but the very best time is in the beginning. Because we just lying to each other off rip. It's gonna we waste the time. We waste the time. It's going to come out. We need to be honest about everything right here so we know we're building this and we're going to keep going. We're going to keep going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We both bullshitting, lying, capping, doing all that. We crashing right there at the beginning. Well, it's everybody's time. Why waste your time when you can just do what you want to do? Go have fun, build that love, and you see how nice it is from there. But a lot of people aren't built for that shit. A lot of people don't have that mentality. They they want to fuck off from the beginning, mm -hmm. and that's what kills me with like females. That's what you that need they to know say. they hoes. That's what you need to say. <laughs> they from know they hoes, but they want to get. What, they see that you like a family man or whatever, so they want to get with you because they they half ass want that lifestyle, but they half ass want to go stop still taking, do what they want to do. Stop taking good men. Yeah. Because at the same time, what you're doing to them good men, you really ruin them. You fucking like you fucking them up for the next. Exactly. Like, you really ruin them. You bringing them down when they was at their best, when they came to you. They came ready to do everything and do do their best. Mm -hmm. And then you, you on this and shit. you do this bullshit, you bringing me down. Because I'm like, damn, I thought I was doing everything right. You out here fucking off. I love you your ass. You them questioning they self. You know what I'm saying? So, that goes you ain't doing shit wrong. That goes for women and men, though. It do, it do. So many people go into the relationship based off what they need, not off of what we can build together. I need this man to take care of me, support me, so I'm going to show him I'm this type of person when really I ain't. Like, there's so Everybody many. Everybody going into it is, get what I need, and get what I need. You know what I'm saying? Well, I ain't worried about them. Yeah. Get what I need, get what I need. The only need you need training. to have when you're going in there is the need to be honest and make it work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So... Hey, people gotta understand. Don't be doing all this and be on the internet trying to talk bad. Like, why that didn't work? Why that didn't work? You didn't let it work. That is cool, love. Uh, this building making me sleep. It's cold. It's <laughs> cold. It's 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 cold. It's
you want better, you'll do better. You can't just hear and want it and want everybody to do it for you so it'll be better. You got to put the work in too. But a lot of people don't want to do that. No. It's, it, to them, it's too hard. It's too hard. Mm -hmm. It ain't hard. They like, None of this hard as long as you put the work in. Or get adrenaline from fucking off. There's a lot of people that want the success but don't want the, the effort work. that comes yeah. with it. Yeah. yeah. See, that's the same as they work at. Look at how they work. <laughs> you think they better make a relationship work when they when they can barely work? Hell no. See ya. Come on now. So it's a lot of things that play a part in everything. People just gotta wanna do the work. You gotta want to do the work. Stop wanting stuff handed to you. Yeah. You feel so good when you make shit happen on your own. You be like, damn, I accomplished that. I did that. Now I'm about to do this. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? So. And I can imagine it's a different kind of confidence within yourself once you get to that level. It is. It is. You know how many cars I've had in my life? Just for an example. How many cars? Over 100. Shit, I'm what? 35? Shit, I have six, seven cars a year. A half of them would give it to me. You know what I'm saying? But when I went and worked, I started making that shit happen on my own. You know how good I felt? Man. Shit. I was like, they're making it happen. Well, I appreciate all they giving it to me, you know what I'm saying? But when you work for, your, for it yourself, and you know you did, that's like buying a truck, buying a stock, and you putting it all together yourself, you coming out of a bad truck around, you did that. Instead of buying it off the lot with everything on it, you paying an extra 20 grand on stuff you just could put 10 grand into yeah. to make it the same thing. You know, it's all about what you make, man. Just like life. Life is what you make. You want a bad life, you probably going to have it. You want a good life, do some work and make it happen. It's going to be a good life. You're going to come in the bumps and roll, but you're going to keep pushing, and they're going to get back good. So, it's all about what you make out of it, man. And you know that, man. <laughs> God, I need sleep. Yeah, man. There y'all have it, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, another episode of 870 Social Club. We out. Be good, people.